my fellow Belizeans, nobody knows better than you the very serious problems and challenges facing our Belizean families, communities, and nation. Too many of you know and live each day the pain and anguish of not being able to put food on the table, to make ends meet, to educate your children, to get proper health care, to keep a roof over your head. Jobs are scarce and unemployment is high. Wages are stagnant and so is our economy. The only significant growth that has been recorded is the amount of external debt, which is now an astronomical $2.3 billion and growing every day. The cost of living has gone up and the purchasing power of your dollar has gone down. Crime and the angel of debt stalk our youth and the rate of murder, rape and sexual assault is fast approaching crisis proportion. Belize, our Belize, is the nation with the fourth highest homicide rate per capita in the world. Our current UDP government acts like they are our rulers, informing us that we will go to the ICJ whether we like it or not, while allowing the debt of Danny Connor Key to go unanswered. Our reef to be wrecked, Guatemalan companies to build our forward operating bases, and ultimately seeking permission to build a base on our sovereign territory. A government's first and most sacred duty and obligation is the protection of our territorial integrity and national sovereignty. This UDP government has failed in this solemn duty, and for this alone, they must go and go now. In the hour when it seems darkest, if you are a person of faith, you do not give in to despair. You know that light approaches and that the dawn of deliverance is near. Your faith sustains you and gives you new resolve and hope. That hour of darkness may be here, but I appeal to your faith. I appeal to your resolve. I appeal to your hope. Together, we will rise. Our Belize will shine again. Your People's United Party, with your support, will bring us into that dawn of a day that will see social justice for all, economic and governance reform, education and health reform, we provide for your review and approval the following five major agenda points. The PUP knows best how to create jobs and put money in your pockets. We will do so for you and your families. No to the ICJ. Guatemala must first respect our sovereignty and territorial integrity as an equal partner and neighbor. Roll out NHI across Belize and ensure that all Belizeans have access to basic medicines and quality health care. No longer must our people die because they can't afford the health care they need. Appoint the 13th Senator and repeal the abusive Petro-Carib Act, which contravenes the Finance and Audit Act, and replace it with a law that conforms to our existing fiscal and audit laws and regulations so that the petro Carib program may be utilized to benefit all Belizeans. The time has come for us as a nation to boldly and proudly declare that we will make education from preschool to sixth form free. There is no better investment that we can make than that we make in education. We can achieve these things. We can create meaningful change. We can make Belize the best place on earth to live, love, work, and play. I ask you today with humility, with hope, with the knowledge that you hold the power to create this new Belize, to join me, join me and my team, join hands with us, 
hearts with us, hope with us, we can create a better Belize. May God continue to guide and bless you, your families, and our nation, Belize.